That's me, you know. <laughs> What's your name? Start talking. <laughs> okay. My name is Fran Heitzman, and I am the founder of Bridging Here. 30 years ago, I gave away one crib, and look what happened. You know, everything exploded on me. And uh, I'm so proud of this place and all the people that volunteer and work here. 92 years old, and this is still your office. Yeah. Pretty much six days a week. Well, the thing of it is, what, what would a 92-year-old guy do sitting in front of the tube all day long? Mm -hmm. I, can't, I, can't, I can't do that. And I tried retiring three times. <laughs> it don't work. I can't do that. I just can't do that. I've lived here in Bloomington all my 92 yeah. years. And we were dirt poor. Now that's during the Depression. Do you know how many times I watched my mom when people came with a sack or a box and see her go down and get potatoes and give them to them? Because she had ex she knew she had something that's, that she could give. That's right. Yeah, down in the go down to the root cellar, yeah. come up with with potatoes. That's right. And you know, I I never forgot that. Well, you brought up uh, we talked earlier about your three attempts to retire. And then after that third attempt, you found yourself at Pox Christi. Right. So what, when you get to Pox Christi, what happened there? Well, we had just started that church, and I told Father Tim Power, I'm going to be your maintenance man. This is how it's going to be. Yeah, this is it. You're literally doing the nice guy, <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Can't refuse. <laughs> so I, I'm sitting there right after we opened up the church. Uh, I... I was just sitting in my office. I had a little square office surrounded with toilet paper and everything. All, yeah, all the stuff that a maintenance yeah. person would have. Yeah, and a woman was standing there, and she had a crib. And uh, she said, can you use this in your nursery? I said, we're all set there, but just leave it here, and I'll find a home for it. I, I don't know what made me say that, but that's, that's how it happened. And uh, uh, I called Catholic Charities. And so that afternoon, I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, why can't we do this? We could repeat this over why, and over and over again. Why can't we take things people no longer need and give it to mm -hmm. somebody who needs who it? Actually Every needs one it. of you who's sitting there tonight, you all have stuff that you can give to somebody. That's an absolute yeah. thing of beauty. People yeah. that have a need and people that want to help satisfy that need. But not just a need that may be temporal or something that might be ego-driven. These people don't have dishes. Right. They don't have silverware. They, they don't have the very, very basics. And that's why we're here. And we supply them everything from a couch like this right down to a spoon. It's, I keep saying, bridging is an amazing place. And it's just, does amazing things for an awfully lot of people.